friends, and welcome back to the Pickled Goblin, the tavern where real friends play real games. Now, we are playing Stolen Fate, an adventure path created by Paizo Incorporated for the Pathfinder 2nd Edition game. Last time, our heroes visited Kraken's Ink Tattoo and gathered more info on the possible whereabouts of Dyril. They left and on their way to reclaimed paradise, were once again attacked by assassins. Don't forget that the sound of music you hear while we play is powered by Sirenscape. Now, let's get back to the action. And welcome back to the Pickle Goblin where yours truly is sitting behind the bar, serving up hot, hot, nat 20s on D20s. Nat 20s. On D's nuts. On D's nuts. <laughs> All for you, Clay. Hot, hot, creamy, nat 20s. Steamy. It's getting hot in here. So, bring out all your dice. Are y'all ready for this? Are we ready to... How's y'all's week been? Man. Uh. So we're ready to escape reality. Oop, are... there goes gravity. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, we're we're, we're going to have to like re-record this entire <laughs> intro. Start over from the beginning now. No. Welcome to the Pickle Goblin. Well, it's happening. Like, it's unedited, uncensored. The real, yeah, the real us. After dark, <laughs> we're, we're we're just that infomercial that comes on at Comedy Central at like three in the morning. <laughs> Do you have a sick fetish for hobbit toes? <laughs> just like all the girls gone wild commercials of my youth. Only be ghouls gone wild. It smell really bad. Well, I, I you know I've seen a little bit more interest about us opening our our. Exclusive OnlyFans. Yeah, it's for it's fans. It's for That's only for if you will look under the table. You know, I and like now that we, now that we are on to vibration. <laughs> no, now that we're not we're not playing on video, we can all we all play pantsless. And the OnlyFans is you know I just installed around three cameras underneath the table. That's right. So, ne- Neely uh, has a uh, fisheye lens on his. So it's <laughs> <laughs> All the scratch cam. Anytime I'm like, we're, we're really getting off in the weeds here. This is, I, I, I'm, I'm excited. I'm not sure what this wee stuff is because Brittany and I haven't said hardly a thing. I have nothing to add here. <laughs> I mean, if, they, mm. if he's gonna let it run, I'm just gonna go with it. <laughs> just you know, I'm gonna. Re- I'm waiting to see how much of this gets really edited out. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna be real surprised. Then it's gonna be great. That's just a challenge to him. It is. It's like, yeah, there's no editing to do. Hey, man, I might I might censor a few wordy dirds, but uh, there's still gonna be that explicit tag on our content. <laughs> I mean, if you introduce your stuff with, you know, bad video content, yeah, that's gonna be yeah, explicit content. Oh god. Hmm. All right. Well, last time. I got critted. Yeah, well, you guys just left. Um, and it twerned me. Twerned. It was the tiefling with the twerned. fake ID. Um, you guys just left. Where did y'all leave? Y'all left uh, Kraken's Ink Tattoo. Yeah. There was talk of some tramp stamps. Yeah, we got some We got some tats, and then we were going to some BDSM hotel. Oh, I oh forgot about goodness, I forgot about that. Uh, That's yeah. right. Oh, no, I don't remember what that was called. Oh, my. God. It doesn't matter because it sounds amazing. Born and you used You used a name generator. I know, I did it's use a name generator. Whip or something, wasn't it? I thought it was the Thorn and Whip. Am I wrong? I, I don't know. Oh, we're going to have to pause this right now because we're going to have to. <laughs> All right, we're going to pause it, everybody. We'll be right back. Okay. I'm back from reviewing. Uh, see, we pa- we unpaused, and there was no time for you guys. You've noticed no time change, but for but, us, we were paused for like 20 minutes. 20 weeks, whatever. I mean. Yeah, we literally stopped playing, and we came back a week later to we've continue. Grown, we've changed. It's a different day. Yeah. Beard. All of us have beards, including Brittany now. Um, it's, uh, he looks very dwarf. Except is. for Lee, he, his fell out. <laughs> yeah. Postpartum hormones do weird things to you, man. <laughs> No, um, it is uh, actually. It was the zealous whip, mm. Mm. It was the zealous, yeah, zealous whip that you were headed towards. Can't believe I almost forgot about that. 
But you're on your way there, mm-hmm. and you were accosted, accosted by more mercenaries. Mm. Bad and, news, and, everyone! And assless chaps. Good news, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, I believe we went through a couple rounds of combat, um, just to paint the picture again for you, kind of in this little bit of a market square. Uh, there, you're surrounded by a few small tents that sell things like, like swords, little serums to get your sword up in the air when you're having trouble. Brantless and um, chaps. Yeah, chaps over there to the south. Got an elixir for um, little blue. Uh, bottles. <laughs> little blue bottles. And um, uh, to the west uh, is a little water feature, a little fountain. Um, there are two guys to the south. Uh, one guy uh, in front of Casper's, who's, who's situated a little little, little north of everyone. Over and, by the water feature. Yep. And then um, beside him is this purple tent. And on top of the tent is standing one of these guys, and he is, you know, obviously weighing down the tent a little bit. Um, um, but fatty. he's you calling him a fatty? <laughs> he's he's not the, body shame the mercenary. He's the husky one, uh, but he's <laughs> he's firing a bow at you guys from up there. And um, uh, you know, uh, let's see, let's see, did it, did, let's see. What, what was, is the water feature of? Here? It's got a statue of something in the middle. What is it? Paint that picture. I don't know what what's in this water feature in the middle of this town next to the Zealous Wood. Ioma Day. Mm. Seems a weird spot to yeah. play. Okay, and not Ioma Day. Um, Would be in the middle of a market. Abadar. Yeah. There we that go. Makes more sense. Abadar. For those who I like Abadar. Yeah. Abadar is the the god of. I like Abadar and commerce and coin and banking and gold. And I will do anything for you. Just pay me first. Yeah, you have to. Everything is bought for Abadar. Uh, anyway, um, so we're back at the top of the order, round three. Fight, fight, and it's uh, this mercenary right in front of Casrus, our big red Casrus friend. Yeah, and uh, he took his first action, rolled a nat twenty, and rolled a nat twenty. What's he attacking with? He's attacking with a, a rapier. Oh no. A little a little uh long and th- long thin toothpick. Basically. He's gonna poke you. Where's my dice? I mean, let's get some y'all want some music to go with this on man? You can't have a combat without dice. Where is right. my parade still going? Just remind me. Yeah. My parade's still going, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you might want to review that spell, make sure it doesn't take you. Sustaining or anything. Sustaining, or if it only lasts certain rounds. Whatever. Round three. Ever. <laughs> Fight. It goes for ten minutes. Yeah. All right, let's see. He crit. That's that's where we were at. No. And uh, with a rapier, he gets you right in the sweet spot. Scrotum. In between. The scrot. <laughs> right in the sweet breads. <laughs> oh. It's right where that... The pick- old baby makers. Right where that pickaxe was on the I'm tattoo. tattoo. <laughs> right. I'm crack. Oh, I'm afraid. That's the best um, tattoo. Your testicles let me, let me will grab some, the same again. Some dice here. And, uh... Tell you what, if, if we ever get famous... He did not I will apply poison. Of what? My back. <laughs> of that dwarf strike on the two boulders. Of the ice cracker? <laughs> if we ever get famous somehow from this, I will absolutely do that. Why don't you just do it anyway? It sounds awesome. It's probably going to cost a lot of money. I know, but what happens if we get old and the boulders start drooping? They'll look like stalactites. Mm. Or mites, whichever one. I don't remember. 34 damage <laughs> as he gets you right in the sweet spot. Right in the tenders. Clay thinks that that was not a big deal, so roll another crit. <laughs> roll that fortitude save for that poison, Josh. Here we go. Uh, is it poison? It was not poison. He didn't He didn't spend a round to um, apply it. Apply it. So like, I don't know why I was so really disappointed like that you that did not shaft. poison yeah. his nuts. Yeah. <laughs> really, really lube that shaft up lube first. That shaft up. Um, it's a masturbation joke. Really? Is it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that went whoosh right over my head. How yeah. so many I'm levels so, in this game? I'm like, 
The joke there's a is lot of depth. The sword is his wiener. A lot of, there's a lot of depth <laughs> to what we bring to the table. I can t- I can tell. It's a rapier. He's got a lot of depth. Oh, I love it here. No. Roll a 20. Roll a 20. I want Clay to hurt. Okay. I did not roll a 20, but I rolled a nat 18. You know, with friends like that, Clay. So uh, that's a 33 to hit. Yeah. Is that a crit? Is that a crit? No. Oh, son of a monkey. Oh, not a crit. Uh, 13 damage. Okay. On that one. Uh, and then he is going to take a small little hop back with a little flourish. He's going to just hop back over here. Oh, I'll use my reaction to no escape to go right in front of his face again. Do it. You may you may move your character, sir. So that's your reaction this turn, correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. M- Mr. Neely, do you need to borrow some of my superior weapons to hurt people with? Your superior weapons? Nice. I mean, I don't need them. These guys might. Mm. I mean, I, I don't think you guys are in too much of uh, too much danger. That's the problem. <laughs> we can resolve that. We want Clay to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> of oh, this, 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 uh, this is taking a turn. Let's see, uh, Naji, it's your turn. Okay, so, so you, Naji, you're you're right here by this this big green tent near the water fountain. And uh, you've got this like parade, just like marching all around you. What we say, like horses, little, little marching band, Acrobats. elephant, <laughs> pink elephants. The one creepy dude who runs the right out of Aladdin. <laughs> just um, this weird little clown that gets in everyone's faces. So with that, uh, there's that guy right in front of me. So I'm I'm using the parade to my advantage, and I'm not going to move. Mm-hmm. I am going to, you know, glare at him and point my finger, and I'm going to cast Chromatic Ray. Chromatic Ray? Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what it is until I learn I do it or not. Sponsored by Razor. Okay. Sponsored, by <laughs> Razor. Sponsored by Renaming Old Spells. It's a 30 to hit. Oh, I'm sure that that's plenty. Let me double check here. Yeah, that will hit. It's a success. So, I am testing that as a... So, I have to choose the the color. And it is going to be... uh, Yellow. Yellow. So, a yellow ray. And it's electricity. And the ray deals 50 electricity damage to the target. What? It's random. Oh, is it? D4. Ah, that's... Oh, uh, okay. So you don't get to choose the color. You roll to see what it's going to be. I hope it's yellow. Four. What it's color? green, which is poison. Okay. The ray deals 25 poison damage to the target. 25. It has to succeed at a fortitude save or be enfeebled for one... Enfeebled one for one minute. Ooh, okay. Enfeebled one for one minute. Enfeebled well, two is if it's critical. Yeah, enfeebled is pretty much all strength based anything. Um, so you said twenty five damage, right? Twenty five poison damage. Okay. Yes. And then Thanks a, for that clarification. Fortitude safe. Goodness, he probably critically saved on you. Um, that's a. Um, that's a. Um, Thirty five. Okay, arcane DC thirty. Thirty. So he he. Uh, he saves. I don't know if that's a basic save or... No, it is it is a succeed or B. Okay, so it's a... Save or suck. Save or suck. So, okay, so he's saved. No poison. He's not enfeebled. But you, he did, you did splash him in the face with some... Um, it's a poison. Yeah. You know. Poison. Um, so that was probably a, what, a two-action spell? Mm-hmm. What else are you doing? Um, so... I don't have a lot. Uh, one action. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cast shield with my one action, just in case. Okay. Uh, Casrus, it's your turn. Yeah, cool, 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 cool. Um, I'm gonna uh, 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 grab that hammer, Miss Valanya. Since I uh, followed up to this man as he tried to run away, and I'm gonna smack him across the face with my hammer. Bring me right on top of him. Absolutely. Probably not. I rolled a, t- uh, a two. 
And give me that total. Uh, for a 24. That is a miss. He just kind of, you kind of barely brush against the side of his leather. Uh, I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna. She's like, you better step your game up, sweetie. Absolutely. Hit him again. Or try to hit him again. Everyone's getting, all of your new compatriots are getting really uncomfortable when you fight things. <sighs> Whenever it's like, ah, probably not. Uh, 29, and that's 29 him. will hit him. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Apparently, that critical threw him off his game. Volanya says he has a hard time picking up his game as it is. Ooh, he needs uh, one of those little blue vibes. Josh really likes playing this character just because he gets to insult you whenever he wants. Pretty much. That's 30 points of damage. 30 points of damage. Yep. Just, just remember, Josh, the characters don't go well at this table. Uh, so uh, with that strike, uh, instead of swinging it at him, I'm kind of using it as like a battering ram to so I shove it into his stomach. Uh, and then I'm going to yeah, like knock all the wind out of him. <laughs> and I'm going to take it after I hit him and swing it and try to come straight down on his head to attack a third time. He's kind of doubled over. So he'd be kind of bringing it down on his back. Yep. Break his spine. Do it. Nope, absolutely not. <laughs> oh, saw that one. lower than the first. So, all right. So he just he kind of gets sucks in a breath and just barely kind of stumbles out of the way before your hammer kind of smashes down on the the cobblestone street bits, flecks of stone kind of spray up and some sparks and all that. Uh, so is that your turn? That's it. That's it. Uh, Fig, it is now thy turn. Uh, just. Just out of curiosity, are, are we skipping our turns again? No. I don't know. I'm, I'm really, just, really watching. Just curious if that's how this was going to roll. I would like to know that as well. I'm, I'm, I'm really watching this turn. Okay. I will, I will make sure to uh, only skip you once or twice. This <laughs> um, Fig, it's your turn. All right, so last round, last time we were here, uh, Fig tucked underneath his tent to hide behind some boxes so he could sneak this round. So that's what he's mm-hmm. going to do. You're also in the midst of that parade. Yes, right. Okay. So uh, you hear a big grunt from Kazarus hitting that guy in the stomach. Mm-hmm. I imagine this guy's eyes, just for a second, dart up to see like what's going on like right across by the water fountain. And in that moment, I will do a step real quick as I'm sneaking. Sneak. Okay. And then I'm going to Hit him with my... You rolled stealth last act. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. Um, I basically did everything but hit him because I couldn't. Right. So... Yeah, yeah. Okay, I remember now. I had to pull my hatchet. So okay. my, my weird little hatchet that's got this weird intertwined vine uh, handle, uh, I uh, lash out and try to slash him with it. All right. You're just kind of... So... Okay, go ahead. Let's see. Let's see what the... What your... Uh, that is mm-hmm. a 17 for a total of 39. A 39 will critically hit. Ooh. So what's going on is this guy is standing right on the edge of this this illusory um, uh, parade, right? And that creepy clown is right on the edge, like, ooh, in his face. And he's like, what the, get out of my, you know, ooh. Like a squirts him, squirts him in the face with a with his flower, you know, on his lapel, oh. and then like the second he's like cleaning this, like wiping this fake, not even real magical water out of his eyes, you're you come out of nowhere and like smack. <laughs> uh, so for damage, I actually rolled max on this, so it's okay. thirty eight points of uh, of damage. All right, and since this is with my um, my hatchet. My hatchet does have the routine rune on it. Mm-hmm. So as I slash him, I like to imagine I could probably slash him like maybe I'm, I'm a little feller. Probably like right on his like thigh or his kneecap. Oh. Um, these weird like those like weird pumpkin vines start growing out of that slash and mm-hmm. wrap around him and root him to the ground. So he'll be immobilized for one round. Okay. Uh, the escape is DC 23, and he's also um, clumsy for as long as he's immobilized. Okay. So Sounds good. Now, the only thing that I forgot to do just now is... What the... 
I didn't do sneak attack damage, so I'm gonna roll three more d6 of damage if that's okay. Do it. It's another 16 points of damage. Okay. Yeah, you kind of came out of nowhere, smack him in the leg, and then all of a sudden he's like grabbing at his leg as these vines kind of wrap around it and start digging into the ground. Uh, so you moved and you struck. Uh, and now... Well, you snuck and you struck. Snuck and You snuck struck. That's right. And then I'm going to go for one more Takaruni at a negative four, since this is agile. Mm-hmm. Uh, 29. 29 will hit him. Okay. Now, this one will not be with y'all sneak attack. Right. Uh, now for this, what I'm going to do, I want to do, uh, okay, so while I'm doing this, I want to do a free action to make this a debilitating strike. Okay. Take that back. I think that can only be on an off guard creature, so we'll just do damage right now. Okay. Uh, 14 more points of slashing. 14 more points. All right. Uh, yeah, he's bleeding. Um. Dodgy is thrilled by what you just did. She's like, I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> a little pumpkin man. Hitting people with a little hatchet. All right. Making vines around people. Making, and yeah, making vines and stuff grow out of their wounds. So there's one standing over by the uh, water fountain uh, that's right beside Gideon. Um, he's kind of standing in the outside edge of that parade. He is going to uh, take a step to be right beside you. And then he is going to strike at you. Actually, while he moves, he's actually going to apply poison to his blade. And then he's going to strike at you. For a 30. Uh, don't forget, he also was disarmed last time, so he still takes that. Negative two? Yes. Okay. Uh, it's a 28. Uh, that is a miss. Okay, uh, that is his turn. It is now. I'm gonna skip this guy. I'm just kidding. It's Hawa's turn. Oh, I get to I get to play. You now? get to play. I get to. Oh my gosh, I, I've forgotten what it feels like. Um, so, if you recall last session, Hawa ran into the the purplish tent right underneath the uh, mercenary who was standing on top, shooting arrows at us, and he's going to. Kind of look up and see the the depressions that this guy's feet are making in the tent. Mm -hmm. And he's like, why don't you come down and see us? And he is going to forcefully strike and attempt to do two things. Basically cut the tent open. Mm -hmm. Also, cut his feet off. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Roll to hit him. I'm not going to make you roll a conceal conceal check or anything because it's obvious where he's standing and you're right underneath him. So that is going to be a 43 to hit. What? I rolled a 90-19 and I have a plus 24. That's 43. That's beyond a crit. That's ultra crit. What I get? An ultra crit. Ultra crit. (laughs) All right. So this is going to be math. Math. Because it was uh, a powerful strike. so. So you run up into this tent strike up at the roof of it where this guy is standing in order to cut him and hopefully make him fall. So that's 42 points of damage. Good lord. As his glaive comes slicing through this fabric and it's corrosive so it's acidic on it as well so you can hear this, this cloth just start to sizzle as this runs through the cloth and runs through his feet. All right, I'm going to make him roll a reflex save to grab an edge. Hmm. Well, he rolled a natural two. I mean, so uh, he's going to fall. Is he going to land on his stumps? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't cut his feet off. I just cut the flat part off. So now he's just got like you know, the little peg leg. It's really disturbing to think about. I mean, the stir- disturbing part is that this came into my head. He's actually, okay, so he's in the tent with you. He's going to fall prone. Um, uh, and he's going to land beside you prone on the ground. Ah, I see you decided to come see me. 
He's a little terrified now. It's a shame you can't stay. And so I'm going to take one more strike at this poor defenseless creature. Yeah. Yes, With that much yes, damage yes. too, I'm gonna say he, when he falls, he drops that bow. His his arrows scatter all across the floor in there. Twenty-four. The twenty-four will actually miss. No. Uh, yes, it will miss. Even even if prone. Even prone. Oh. Yep. Uh, really close. He just barely kind of dodges out of the way. Just kind of rolls a little bit, and you're. It was, are you attacking? You attacked with the sword, right? Or the glaive? The glaive. The glaive. So you bring that glaive down. Same thing, kind of like Casper's hits the ground. Sparks kind of fly. It's and a he, crowded in here for such yeah. a large weapon. Yeah, that's what she said. Uh, well, and, um, she was not mistaken. <laughs> and uh, uh, he whimpers a little bit with that strike. Like he's he's that that uh, that fear is in his eyes. You, you get a feeling he's probably not fought a snake man before. <laughs> um, is that your turn? Uh, yes, that is my turn. Gideon, it's your turn. So Gideon's gonna look at this uh, this merc mercenary and be like, "Where do you think you're going?" And he's gonna. Oh, sorry, I forgot to add just my extra damage from my strength. So that's 16 more points of damage. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Okay. We like damage. We like damage. Yes. So Gideon's gonna start kind of twirling his spear kind of, you know, like the drummer's twirl where he, it looks like he's twirling it, but it's not really twirling, you know, uh, and as an action, uh, he is going to transform his spear, uh, into a morning star. Okay. Uh, and then he starts swirling that spiky ball of death. Uh, and he is going to then sweep this little mercenary's legs out from under. Sweep the leg, Johnny. With a trip attack. Trip attack. Trip attack. He's going to try to jump over it. He's trying to time your attack. He's going to. I mean, he probably is. Whoever hired these guys didn't spend a lot. Yeah, they spent moderate money. Not a lot of money, not a little. They're kind of right there in the middle. That's what I'd say. That's what it looks like to me. Like save a lot but for goons. Yeah. Uh, that's a 39. To his fortitude, or no, reflex, DC. And you said a 49? A uh, 39. 39 is a critical success. So as a critical success, I believe he takes some damage. Just a wee little bit of damage. Uh, so you did like the drummer twirl. Do you also do like the pencil trick with your spear where you make it look floppy? Yes, I can. <laughs> really neat. Uh, that dice is gone forever. Uh, that is going to be six. Well, I guess unless you want to roll it, but he takes D6 bludgeoning damage from falling because as he goes to try to, you know, uh, jump rope my little spiky ball as it's swinging. I actually wrap it around his leg and just yank it really hard. So I flip yeah. him onto his face and it busts his front teeth out. Okay. Uh, it takes full six damage. Yes. I rolled me old trusty D6 over here and I rolled a six. There you go. So then, uh, in, in, uh, immediately after that, I will uh, bring it down onto the back of his skull. Um, okay. Because he is prone. That's how Gideon rolls. This is how I roll. Oh. Gideon. Oh. <laughs> so it's a, it's a pretty awesome roll. Um, then why did you say ah? That was that was sarcasm, by the way. Oh, he was sarcastically depressed, just like I am when I cry. <laughs> I, I'm mathing. Sorry. Math, math, math. Twenty four. Twenty four. Barely misses. You smash right in the side of his, like right beside his head, not the side of his head, right beside his head. You are just ruining the cobblestone around yeah. here. You keep knocking these guys down <laughs> and then hitting right beside them on the ground. Everyone's like, our taxes are going to pay for that. Gideon, well, Gideon's like, hold still, you worm. 
Okay. That's three actions. That's three actions. It's quite ironic that we both knocked him down and both missed with a 24. It is, actually. I think he's lying. I think we hit. I mean, we did get skipped last turn. Yeah. What? Last term is in the last time we played. Last oh. time on cheating the player. <laughs> last time I'll I'll see if I can sneak by and let all of my bad guys go first. <laughs> Woo. Uh, no, this mercenary down here to the southeast, right on the outside of um, a pirate, the parade, uh, who's rooted to the ground by figs vines. It's going to reach down and start ripping at those vines to try to get them off of him. So he's going to roll an athletics check yep, to fine. just rip at them. He is clumsy. I don't know if that affects any of it. Uh, clumsy, I think, is actually uh, dex based. Well, we can look it up. Well, let's right. look it up real quick. That penalty equal to condition value of your dex based checks and DCs, yeah. including AC, reflex, and ranged attack rolls and skill checks using. That's right. It's, it's like enfeebled to strength. Clumsy is Dex. There you go. Um, uh, so he is going to. I'm actually on my game today. Nice. Welcome back, Lee. Thanks. Welcome back. Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. Acrobatics. All right, here we go. Welcome. Or not back. acrobatics. I said athletics. It said 27. Yeah. Okay, so he rips the vines out. And he's like, come here, you little whatever you are. And um, I'm going to. I'm going to poke you. I'm, I'm going gonna, gonna to have some pumpkin pie later tonight. And um, my gonna cut, he's going to cut my head off and eat it. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh, my God. Um, and uh, he strikes at you. Okay. It's a 28. She's afraid not. Yep. Uh, and then he is actually going to uh, take a step back. Because he is afraid of the two foot paw, tall pumpkin person. Right. So, would these enemies get a bonus to attack him if they had like lore gardening? <laughs> lore gardening? Yeah, yeah, you know. I'm going to prune you, you little. <laughs> I like it. Come here. You Have little. a hero point, Lee. <gasps> oh. ah. Look at that creative thinking. You didn't use it in the game Guys, at all. Is it a holiday? Um, it is, it is actually. Now, your birthday? Right? No, it is. It's Groundhog's Day. That's true. That's oh the only reason. Oh, my gosh. Because Lee only gets a hero points on his oh, birthday. The trash run the day. No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh oh. Uh, Haba. 33 to hit. 33 will hit him. <laughs> God, you got uh, I'm a tushy. 25 points of damage Good as Lord. I am lying on the ground with my serpentine reflexes, just bringing that glaive around as I'm falling and swiping at his ankle, what's left of his ankles. All right, so, yeah, his, his, uh, Lee, what do you laugh at? <laughs> I'm just imagining Hawa wiggling around. I'm a snake. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you smack your blood kind of splatters the side of the tent and he screams out. Uh, and, uh, uh, he, you get the idea he was going to reach for his rapier. Um, that is in Bell. He lost his bow as when he fell. Uh, but he is actually going to take off. Running. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I, I want everyone to picture this in his head. I have, like, slashed this guy's feet. <laughs> I have now just slashed his ankles, <laughs> and he is going to, quote unquote, take off running. I mean, it's probably going to be more like a hobble. <laughs> Army <laughs> crawl. <laughs> Army crawl. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, he is, he is going to dive out this side of the, uh, the tent. And take off running towards the northeast. Um, that is his turn. It's back up at the top. This mercenary in front of Casrus. You just kind of knocked the wind out of him. Kind of doubled over. You tried to hit him again. He dodged out of the way. Uh, he's gonna. 
He's gonna spit some blood on the ground. He's like, is that all you got? And then he is going to strike at thee. After applying some poison. He's like, you just hold it right there. <laughs> Don't wait for me. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Oh, yeah. So long, this one. It's like somebody who's like about to shoot a musket. Like, no, go anywhere. Um, I'm I'm gonna give you this freebie. <laughs> what are you giving him? This is the freebie. Um, applying poison is the manipulate action. That means it provokes. Yeah, I know. I you have attack of opportunity. Now, if you don't want no, to do. use your attack of opportunity, I'm, I'm purely happy with that. Nah, yeah, we'll do that. Might as well. Okay. He can't. Why? Did he not use a reaction? At the, the beginning of the next round. turn. Well, oh, that's right. Brandy round on the. Well, yeah, yeah, no, it's. He, he used a reaction on his he, turn. No, yeah. he to, used a reaction. No, I, I used the reaction whenever that guy moved, so and, it and happened on. He reaction. had a turn, and that reset his reaction. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. yeah. So I can use attack opportunity. Your turn resets your reactions when it comes back to you. Uh, thirty-two. Thirty-two will hit him. Do it. No! Do what must be done. So a lot of dice rolling over there. Are you rolling the wrong dice? Uh, pretty low. 27. 27. Points of damage. 27, you say? All right, so he uh, he's going to take that 27 damage. So stick it in his pocket. Yep, if yep. this bad guy goes down, do we congratulate Cassius? Cassius. Cassius? Mm -hmm. Or Valanya? I mean, she, she's nothing without me. That's um, what she Valan said about you last night. Well, <laughs> <laughs> Valanya's like, I said he's not on his game, but uh, sometimes he is. And he's like, I can see that. As he spits up a couple teeth. Uh, but he's still going to strike at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, no, he's not going to strike at you. He's going to take off running. Um, Which would also provoke. But yeah, you do don't have another reaction. Um, I guess. How far did he go? Let me look here. Wow. So... He uh he actually has one more action, correct? He put poison on the blade. Then got hit. Then he then got ran moved. Away. He ran away, he's got another action. What? Uh, he's got a double run away. Oh, yeah. So he's gonna go that way. Um it is now Naji Speckleson's turn. Okay, so Naji was like she's torn between, you know, which direction she's going to help. She kind of wants to cast like chain lightning or something to get a bunch of them at once and do some damage, but she can't get all three and she wants to, uh, or both of them. No, I guess she could get both of them. Um, no, I think they're too far apart. Anyway, she's going to decide to go for the one near Fig because he's a little guy. Okay. And she wants to help out. And so she's going to straighten her crown Mm -hmm. And she's going to wave like a princess. <laughs> okay. <laughs> With this parade. <laughs> and she's going to cast Cinder Swarm. When you do that, like, the parade just kind of synchronizes with you, and they all kind of do this little, like, like, jazz hands around you as you do it. <laughs> she literally straightens her crown, does this princess wave, and all of a sudden these, um, these fireflies, like... That literally look like big burning lights, you know. Mm -hmm. um, swarm around the guy in front of, like near Fig. Okay. And you need to do a fortitude save. Fortitude save. Oof. Twenty-two. I believe that would be a fail. Okay. In fact, let's see. I don't think that's correct. Ten, 10 less is a critical fail or more. My spell DC. What is your spell DC? DC? I thought you spell DC. So what is it? 30. What is it? 30. Okay, so it's just a fail. Okay. Um, find thing again. So it fails and there it is. Um, so 3d6 fire damage. And since it failed, it takes full damage and is blinded for one round. Good lord. And then is temporarily immune 
Okay, so give me the damage. It, it's a shame we're still not doing video because half the table is down here doing the YMCA. <laughs> <laughs> Seven damage. That's all you got? Seven? Yeah, I didn't roll very high. Oh, okay. Um, but he's blinded. He is blinded for one round. I mean, I know that the GM is not just on our side, but it's like, that's all you got? <laughs> like, Seven damage? It's like, quack you, GM. Quack you big time. <laughs> <laughs> it was cool, though. It was very cool. All these little fi- fireflies. All right. Um... So, seven damage. Well, uh, yeah. So, you hit him. All these fireflies kind of surround him. Pelt into him. Now he's kind of blinded. He's grabbing his face. He just got done ripping vines that grew out of his own wound on his leg. And then you smash him in the chest with a scorching ray of fire. You don't pick up, pick on us little guys. So. <laughs> Back up to the top. Uh... This mercenary that's running away, uh, he's going to spend off. What? Back up to the top. Not even. Oh, I'm sorry. Again? <laughs> do it again. Some real quack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Casper, it's your turn. Cool. Um, I'm going to wipe the blood from my face. Like, I am not settling for half. <laughs> and I'm going to use sudden charge. And we'll run right up to that guy that ran away from me. That's picture okay. of Alania saying, but sweetie, you only ever had half an ass. <laughs> and <laughs> before I take my action to attack, which where did my, oh, I'm going to call. Oh, I was going to do it, but I'm not going to do it. I forgot this. I feel so sudden. Never mind. Rewind. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm just going oh, to hit him real oh, hard. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to do. I knew what I was going to do, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to hit him. I'm really confused what's happening. Everyone's just making noise for no apparent reason. Oh, steak and shake. Uh, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just charge all the way up to him. I'm going to hit him. Smack real hard. Ooh, that's real hard. Um, 38. 38 will critically hit this mercenary. Uh, that's max twice. Mmm, it's going to be tasty. Nice and crunchy. I mean, if you tell me what the dice is, like if it's like a D8 or a D12, I can tell you what the max twice is. You don't have to pull out the calculator. I got to uh, roll my fire damage. I'm guessing it's a D12. Yeah. I mean, and then that, that would be 24. 24. 65. 65. You smash this guy so hard in the back that his rib cage comes flying out yeah. the front. I, like I said, I got real mad that he ran away. Literally just dead sprint toward him. And then as I get close to him, I jump up midair with my hammer and just slam it down into his back. Just crunch. You hear his bones crack. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. The, uh, the rib cage. You know, it's severed from the top and the bottom. It lands on the cobblestone uh, like 10 feet away, and like all of its organs kind of fall out. I want to look at the guy that's right next to me uh-huh. and just give, like, give, give him a huge smile and be like, run. Would you like to roll an intimidate? Absolutely. That's an action. Uh, well, I, uh, I don't have actions then. But isn't he already? Sudden charges Sudden charges two. Okay. Um, I want to run real. Does sudden charge not come with an attack? Yes, it does. You, so you should correct. have one action left. So basically, sudden charge. Correct, correct, twice, correct, and correct, you correct. correct. Your turn. Good call, good call, good call. Yeah. You get to move twice. Yeah, we'll do it. So you got an action we'll left. Do a, we'll do an intimidation check. Do it. Do it. <laughs> well, that's a crit. <laughs> if you want the full total, that is a 4D. And it's a critical hit. Critically hit him. Wait, critically hit on an intimidation check? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Disintimidate. My mind went to anything. No. you're hitting. Disintimidate. So he pisses all over himself, right? Yeah, it seems kind of a waste. No, I'm fine. I'm good. See, like a big pool of yellow liquid. I mean, he, yeah, he's he's frightened too. He is peeing on his bloody stumps of legs. He uh, he kind of yeah, his legs kind of give out from him a you little just, bit. You just told the gimpy guy to run as fast as he could. That's my comical. He just looks up at you and goes. <laughs> But I can't, sir. <laughs> oh, no. 
But yeah, I've, I've just got I, the, the amount of rage and the this, that I've just obviously killed this man with and looking at him, like my eyes just have like that flame glimmer to them. Mm -hmm. um, I just look at him and tell him like, run. All right. Um. Back up the top. <laughs> back up to the top. <laughs> Skipping the hard oh, back up to the top. <laughs> Fig, it's your turn. All right, I'm going to uh, do a skirmish strike. So this guy is blinded. He's just been hit a lot. Probably stumbling around, grabbing stuff, trying to figure out where he's going. He is. He is off guard. So I'm going to Bo show. Move up. Not stealthily, but quietly. Mm -hmm. This man can't see me, so I'm just going to casually walk up. Uh, yeah, he's 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 got like. Ash, like his his eyebrows and his his eyelashes have been burnt off, and he's like smacking at little flames on his chest from that scorching ray that just went over the top of your head. By the way, and I'm going to uh, hatchet him right in the back. Hatchet him. Just so, imagine uh, him kind of like skipping up, like real nonchalant, like da da da. Murder. Skirmish strike allows me uh, in one action to move and to hit. Okay. That's how I want him to do it too. Just be like, do do do, murder. He does this little 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 tiptoe prance all the way up. So let's. See. He remind like he reminds me of like uh, like what like how Chucky would act. He looks cute, but he Chucky murder you. Thirty seven. I don't know if I would say Chucky, even when he looks like a good doll, is cute. <laughs> he always looks creepy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, I'm sorry. What was that? 37? 37 is a crit. Ooh. Okay. Chop, 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 chop. Don't forget your sneak attack. Yes, I do have my sneak attack. And you double the sneak attack. Yep. A Turk. A Turk? What you got? 50 points of damage. 50 points of damage. He's still alive, but he is, he's almost like his knees are buckling. He's also now clumsy. And roots start growing out of his back and then twist it up around him again. He's like, he's like, by the gods, let me be. Should have took Lord Garden. <laughs> if only I would have listened to my parents when they told me to go pull the weeds from the back garden. I would be able to handle this situation. They said that my life would depend on it, and I didn't so believe them. These vines and roots have like grown and like leached into the ground and mobiles. I'm gonna walk in front of him. Okay. Just kind of look up at him and like tilt my head and then just hit him one more time with my hatchet <laughs> real quick. <laughs> uh, I rolled an 18 on this one, so the total is a 36. That's a crit. <laughs> uh, 46 points of damage. What class are you? <laughs> Rogue. Oh my God. So it's 46 points of damage. Yeah, you get people off guard or unaware of you, they do a lot of damage. They get to do it's that. just very situational. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, he's he's dead. Uh, he only had five hit points left. Um, so you just s smash him right in the face. Smash him. Yeah, and he just kind of gurgles a little bit. <laughs> Mom and dad. You keep chopping him when he's down. Smash. I should have mastered the art of shearing. Uh, that's for sheep. Instead of baiting. <laughs> All right. Uh, that is Fig's turn. Back to the top. Wait a minute. <laughs> you did that on purpose. I did. Uh, it is a mercenary's turn, though. The one over by Gideon. Uh, he is um, seeing that his friends are all dying. He is going to take a step. No. No, you say? No. He's prone. Oh, he is prone. He is going to stand up. And suffer my wrath. <laughs> suffer the wrath of Gideon. Do it. You know, I'm just I'm I'm just curious because I feel like this is something that Gideon would do, but I'm also kind of an <laughs> ass, so uh trip is an attack. So can I make a trip attack as my I don't believe so. 
I believe attack of opportunity is <laughs> simply is a, a strike. Is a strike. Okay. Yeah. Because that would be really hilarious. <laughs> Gets up, just tripping again. <laughs> Okay. Um, no, that's something that I don't know. I may have to put some some thought into on maybe allowing. I don't, you know. You know what? I'm going to use because I rolled a one. I'm going to go ahead and use one of my hero points that you gave me. How many hero points do you have right now? Uh, one now. <laughs> oh, so I shouldn't have given you another one. I don't like you ought to be banking these hero points. Oh yeah, that is a nineteen. Uh, for a total of um, 40. That will critically hit him. Okay, so... That's a lot of criticals tonight. That's uh, 28 points of damage. 28. Where are you going, little boy? All right, so he's going to stand up. That was a little up. creepy, okay? I was like, hey there, little boy, going. I got some candy for you. <laughs> you kinda, he kind of stumbles away after that hit. He takes a step, and then he's going to take off running. Um... It is now Hawa's turn. Uh, Hawa uh, is actually going to... Is, is the back of the tent open or... It's open, because the other one ran through it as well. It's just kind of an open-air tent. Okay. Uh, so uh, Hawa is going to... I don't have this feet, but thematically going to kick up so that it looks cooler than just standing up. Like, um, he's not going like, to lean on his little, his glaive and like, Ugh, good, get up like an old man. He's going to kick up. Okay. A little dramatic. Uh, and he is going to move up to the one that uh, he had previously been whacking away out on top of the tent, who is now over by Casrus. Mm-hmm. And he is going to... This guy, is, his eyes are fixated on Casrus. He looks very frightened of this guy. I'll stop back here, because I have a little bit of reach on him, so I don't have to get all the way up to him. Okay. And I shall striketh at the assailant of unknown... Well, actually, not unknown fortunes. He's here on behalf of the Butcher. It's a natty 19 for a total of... Oh, man, everyone's dropping bombs. For a total of... Oh, wait, I, 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 hold on. First, I had to get... I was prone, so I stood up, moved. Now I'm whacking. Okay. Wait. <laughs> Why did I just whack when I was prone? Um, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, so that's <laughs> a total of 43. Critically hit. He's already frightened, which brings his AC down as well. So it's going to be a total of 29 points of damage. 29 points of damage. Uh, okay. As you kind of just kind of see a little puff of air as he kind of kicks up, kind of very quickly sprints through kind of a slit in the back of the tent, just parts, closes, Mm -hmm. just kind of runs that glaive in betwixt his rib cage. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's, you see his, his, his life is beginning to ebb now. Uh... But uh, he's still on his feet. It is now Gideon's turn. What is the man in the iron masks going to do? I saw that movie. Leonardo DiCaprio. That's right. Not one of his best roles, but okay. It's fine. It's so fine. I, I'm going to uh, uh, run over here. Toward the one fleeing by the water feature. Towards the one fleeing by the water feature. Uh, and uh, as I am running over there, I'm going to kind of uh, shout out at the group. Do we need any alive? Mm-hmm. So how will we be like, we know they're just the butcher's lackeys. We don't need them anymore. Good. <laughs> Okay. It's hard for Hawa to yell because it's like, I'm very breathy. (laughs) Yes! No! (laughs) Okay. Um, What's Gideon going to do? You hear one guy go, I think we should let him live. (laughs) (laughs) He's just like, we should let that guy live. So uh, thematically, I'd like to think, because all of this happens really fast, is this guy gets up and I go and smack him. And then he starts to run away, 
And so I start in pursuit, and as I'm kind of running behind him, gaining speed. He's, he's like, oh, no, yeah. no, no, oh, God, oh, God, no. Oh, I'm, God, no, he's so big, he can't stop. <laughs> I'm kind of yelling over my shoulder, do we need him alive? And and so then he's, like, swirling my morning star around my head mm-hmm. and then poof, take his feet out from under him again. Another trip. Another trip. Okay. And um, that was a horrible roll that I did there as far as the way I rolled it. So uh, it wasn't a trippy trip? No, it's still a 29. That's enough to trip. Well, yeah, trip. He's not going to take any damage, but he is prone now. Yeah. So falls on his on, on his face. So he falls on his face, flat on his face. And, uh-huh. and I'm just... <laughs> and, uh, yo, yeah. Look, uh, like them good dice rolls. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> rolled a one. It was about time everyone was rolling like above 18 for like an hour. So. Uh, well, I mean, in our defense, it's like, you know, the barbarian and the fighter and the paladin over here, like working our ass off trying to kill people. And Mr. Pumpkin's like, stab, you're dead. <laughs> so as I, as I trip him and then I swing my, my, my morning star kind of back up, it gets caught on my shield. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm like, oh, son of a... <laughs> I can't quite get my swing off. Just white. Just white. Just white? Just white. Just get it. Get it. Just, get it it's just good to get it white. Get it white. <laughs> Until we haven't played games with each other for a very long time. Um, okay, so is that your turn? That was my turn. Um, it is now that mercenary's turn. Are we back up to the top? No, it's at the <laughs> bottom, actually. It's the one that's highlighted is at the bottom. That's why I keep going back up to the top, because I keep every... <laughs> I don't know. Anyway. Um, You're just going to have to label him, like change his label to bottom. Yeah, he is. he is going to stand up. This is the one that's just in front of me. Yeah, the he's, one that he, the one that ran away like yeah, two oh, wait, seconds well, ago. Oh, well, let me let me. No, I am sorry. Yeah. This is not that much. That's what I thought. Yeah, it is. It is the one. Uh, cheater. But cheater. this is. Th- but this is still the the bottom. Yes. Uh, this, is, this is. I am very confused about which mercenary is the bottom. Here you I, go. You know, I honestly don't know. I I don't. <laughs> I don't think he has. A, I don't think he has an initiative sheet at all. He's just making stuff yeah, up. Making <laughs> stuff. This guy's gonna go now. Like, well, I'll just whatever's worse for the players. I'll do it now. Oh. <laughs> um, uh, he is. He's he's gonna stand his ground. He's like, uh, uh, he's barely standing his ground. His feet have been chopped up. And he's been jabbed and smashed and scared. Has frightened to do anything to his uh, and uh, or anything? Yep. Mm-hmm. And he goes to strike at Casrus with his rapier, yeah. and he pokes a cracked die. It's always a cracked die when it's a low number, isn't it? It's a 30 to hit. Wow. Yeah. He's a power bottom. Oh, Lord. (laughs) That means he pushes back. (laughs) Uh, 12 points of damage, and he just keeps going. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, he just I'm he just keeps pushing going. back. Sure. <laughs> uh, oh. oh, he's gonna miss on that one with a 17. Yeah. And he's gonna strike one more time. Okay. And he misses. So he he kind of gets a good little nick in, and then he he and he gets a good little couple more thrusts, and he's <laughs> he's just running out of gas, man. I'm the only one here with a straight face. <laughs> I never have a Clay's, space play. Sorry. Clay, are you not entertained? <laughs> um, anyway, that is his turn. And uh, we are back up to, to the top. Oh. Okay. And Brittany, it is Najee's turn. So Najee is on a kick of fire. She's seen some guys go down and she's ready to, to be done with this. And so she... You know, instead of waving, she throws something. And you see this little pea-sized dot just arch all the way over everything in front of her. It goes way behind, way behind the guy in front of Gideon. And when it hits the ground, it bursts into flames as she casts Fireball. 
<laughs> okay. But she casts it far enough behind him, the guy that it doesn't hit her friend. Right. He's right on the edge of the fireball. Question. He needs a reflex save, right? Question, though. Just all the other people that... I was about to ask. Oh, they all scatter. Oh, okay. Yeah, they all scatter. But pretty much, you guys break out in a fight. People aren't going to, like, stand beside you. I feel They're bad. all, like... I feel bad for that, like, exotic pet hey, stall right there. You know, I mean, <laughs> if this was... I played a lot of Street Fighter, and that's not the... Yeah. Is there. <laughs> Everyone's just cheering you yeah. on. Yeah. Or just turn on the news, and there's people just be like, Hoo. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, reflex save... Oh my god. <laughs> what? It was probably bad. Guess. Two. Take a guess. It was a natty one. <laughs> I thought that was he too obvious. Critically failed. Which makes sense because he's got, you know, the the Iron Man standing in front of him. He's also prone. And he is prone. <laughs> See, you should have gone with a female character because then we could have called you the Iron Maid. <laughs> so, it's a 12d6 of fire damage. 12d6 of fire damage. Okay. And I'm not, I'm just going to double my damage instead of trying to roll that many dice. That, that would be very difficult, yes. Give me all of it. I need all of it. Give it to me. Need that hot fireball. All that damage. Little fireball. 37 damage. In total? Did you double it? Did you double it? Oh, no. 74. 74. 74. Four damage. He burns to a crisp. Get that dice that rolled over here. That five over here that rolled way over here. No. So that's 10 more damage. (laughs) So that's 84. He burns to a crisp. (laughs) He's like, "Ah!" pulls a little Anakin. Naji jumps you. up and down with glee, <laughs> just laughing. She was like, you are my brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have the high ground, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Which is really hard to say for someone of her stature. <laughs> it is. Um, all right. Uh, so, Naji, that was two actions. Anything left you want to do with that last action? <clears throat> um, I mean, other than gloat. Like, I... Naji's very violent, by the way. Um, I think everybody's geez. dead, right? I think everybody, everybody is like just straight up murderers. They're like, good, we don't have to keep them alive. <laughs> She's going to shout out. Maybe we should keep the, the last one for questioning. Oh, yeah, that you've you've you missed that part of the conversation. I think that everyone oh, has uh, has uh, <laughs> agreed upon that there's nothing left to learn from these people. Okay, well, then I don't care. like I, I will. Um, I'm going to just going to. I'm going to waste that action because I don't really have anything else. Like. <laughs> okay. Um, back up to the no, it's Catrice's turn. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna look this at joke th- is probably going to last the whole campaign. Get ready for it. Uh, I'm going to look at him in the eyes and be like, <sighs> you should have ran. He's like, have you seen my legs? <laughs> I ain't got no legs, Captain. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> yeah, Lieutenant Dan. Uh, that is a 37. That's a critical hit. Here, let me let me check his old character sheet here. Do you want to roll that? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, Twenty. Want to roll to see that one. He's not gone. surviving this. Twenty nine points of damage. Um, is, he, is he gone? Oh, he's gone. Oh, sweet. So, how did you how'd you kill him? So I'm going. On you just kind of. I'm gonna. It's an orgasmic scream as you. Oh yeah. So I so I I I, 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 I swing her and I'm like <laughs> I'm like are you ready for this babe? And I'm gonna both hands swing it yeah, side fist me. <laughs> swing it swing it side sideways to where like it impacts him so hard and he's essentially impacts him. moving with the hammer and I scoop him up in the air and just come down on the ground on him. And he splatters everywhere. Okay. I always I just wonder wow. has it always taken another man Does she like it messy then I guess Josh? Yeah. She likes just likes <laughs> flicks it all over her face like that. There you go. Okay. I always wonder has it always taken another man oh, you got it in my for eye. her to climax? Or, or I mean it, is it always at least two? I mean come on. <laughs> and I look down at her after I splatter him and I go Oh you splattered on him? Okay. I'm like, oh, Fuck. Well, I mean, you you look you, you look good wet. 
Oh, oh my God. <laughs> She's Jesus like, Christ. stop it. <laughs> stop. Don't be stunned public. There's, there's people watching. And when you look around, the crowd starts kind of pulling back in. And they're that like, was quick. They'd like, be like, oh, yeah. they're all dead. <laughs> I mean, this is Absalom. Crazy. <laughs> it happens here all the time. They're I like, back to my booth. They're, they're like, I need. <laughs> Uh, you, you, the people already come up and go, sugar dates, sugar dates and pistachios, you know. Sugar um, dates and fish. <laughs> fish. What happened to all my birds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> one good. Side of good. Chicken soup. <laughs> <laughs> Get your fresh hot rotisserie chickens. They're kind of small for chickens. Um, so, yeah, I, I believe this was, we kind of left off with, um, it was kind of towards the end of the day because you guys were th- thinking about going we were to going to the lovely hotel. Yeah, the uh, which was uh, I've already forgot. Hold on, starts with a Z. And it's not the Zonku zealous Zonku. whip. Yep, Close the enough. zealous whip. And we did determine last time it would not be. It has, does it have a, a, a sister Zonku hotel Zonku. called the Luscious Lash? <laughs> the Luscious Lash. <laughs> Maybe you'd have to find out. Um, so. It's your game. What are you doing? Where are you going? Uh, we're going to the sex hotel. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is, right? Can I... Uh, I don't, you haven't made it there uh, The The body's in front of me. Can I, like, look for any part, like, notes, parchments? Yeah, you can, you can definitely you say, look, look over them. Uh, there, <laughs> like, what? There, there, there is nothing of note on them. They do have gear, if you would like to loot for gear. Necessary. And uh, sell and such. Uh, they are carrying the same stuff that the last ones were carrying. Go figure, you know. We loot from them and then turn around to the stall behind us. (laughs) uh, What are you you giving me for this? (laughs) Uh, Plus one composite short bow, each one of them. Plus one striking rapiers, plus one leather armor, uh, arrows. I'm going to go ahead and say the injury poison is all gone and all of it. Well, I do. Gideon's already cleaned them out because he was going to sell everything. I I will keep one of the composite short bows. Uh, Fig would like to go to the fountain. Okay. There, there is a fountain there. We'd like to climb up on top of the, the little lip so we can look in there. Okay. Uh, I would like to roll a 33 on perception to see if there's any coins. Oh, there's all kinds of coins. Mostly copper, a few silver, mostly copper. He's going to sift through them and find, just find the shiniest coins that he possibly can find and steal them. Okay. Uh, and are you trying to conceal this or... Sure. Uh, thievery check? Yeah. Roll me a thievery check. 36. 36. Um, here, hold on. You're just going to scoop up some coins. That's what you're doing, right? Yeah, but only the shiny ones, not the ones that have been in the water for so long. They got all algae and green on them. I mean, you're a plant. What do you have against algae? Covers up the shiny parts. Uh, you are going to find 13 silver and three copper worth. Not find. That's what you're going to grab before you feel like you know guards are going to notice. They're like, what's that little that's kid like, doing? And over you there? and you and you probably get the sense that you know, like some of these merchants might might look and be like, oh, this is this is our fountain of Abadar. We toss coins in here for good luck for our good sales. You know, there might be some offense taken for taking coins out of there, but you don't have any problem getting a small handful um, of coins. Yeah, you just shove them in your mouth. Yep. I do a... Uh, Somebody goes, hey, what are you doing there? And you're like, I'm just getting a drink of water. He's <laughs> got a drink, can he? <laughs> can I, this is a free Absalom. <laughs> can I just do like a general perception uh, to see if there's anyone that's watching us just after that fight? You don't have to roll that. No? There is plenty well, of people have, have uh, taken notice, like, but you're looking for suspicious. suspicious. Correct. Roll. Roll it. Roll it. Probably not. 20. Just tell me. 20. Yeah, it's too crowded. People, the, the people start coming back in, and, and whatever you guys don't loot off of these guys, they're, like, running up and taking their boots. Mm. You know, there's little street urchins are coming out, and they're like, oh, get their shoelaces. Go. There's some butt-naked <laughs> dead thugs. Oh, people are already coming by and, like, yeah, like get get these out of here. I would like to. Uh, I would like to know who handles cleaning up dead bodies. In the it. Undertaker, and they charge the city for the service. Ah. So we just cost the city money. <laughs> yep. Oh, no, you the people's taxes go to this. Dang. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> all, all the merchants like adventurers eating up my tax dollars. For real. <laughs> it's, it, you think they would just like shove them down the the sewer where the poop monsters are at? I mean, that's probably what they do. Are they called the Otiogs? Otiogs. Yeah. Otiogs. Yeah. No, they are called the poop, poop monsters. monsters. The poop monsters. So the sh- creatures. 
I want to go over to the stalls that I probably like scorched with mm-hmm. my fireball. Mm-hmm. And if is there anyone in those stalls? Is that rotisserie? Oh, sure. Yeah, they're, they're selling rotisserie chickens that are the size of parakeets. There's that one burnt body in there. She's like, you know, these are those gnomish <laughs> gnome chickens. chickens. Yeah, they're very small. They cost gonna, more because they're so small. <laughs> I'm going to walk past uh, Gideon and say, excuse me. And I'm going to go up to um, the first owner of the the little mm-hmm. booth, and I'm going to say. Bald, rotund man. I'll say, excuse me, sir. Yeah? You would like a, you'd like a chicken? <laughs> no. little, little, my, my take's a little small, but, uh, you know. That's high up there. Fit, really good for adventurers. You can take them on the go. Fit right in the palm of your hand. Might be a game hit. I don't know. <laughs> they, they, they might, uh, they might uh, sit right on your shoulder real comfortably, too. <laughs> uh, no, I had another idea. Um, I'm kind of responsible for what happened to your stall here. So I thought, you know, it might not fix everything, but... Here's you some here's you some coin to go toward the damages, and I'm gonna give each of the owners of the stall a gold coin. A gold coin? Well, it's just the one stall. Okay. Well, oh, I mean, a gold coin. There was, there the map shows there's like four stalls. Okay. Well, you can give four gold coins away for the Eastern. They're all very grateful. Um, the only one that really took any real brunt uh, <laughs> the is exotic. the one the exotic. Pet shop. <laughs> Avian pet shop. You got iguana on a stick now. It's <laughs> <laughs> um, just rare meats. I'm, I'm going to let him know, you know, didn't mean to cause any problems, but, you know, maybe this will help uh, the rebuilding. All, happens all the time. I mean, it might sell better than the pets. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he reaches over and grabs one, just takes a bite of it, and he's like, mm, a little... Bony for me. A little, a little bony. A little extra done, but oh well. I do what I have to to survive in this city. Thanks for the coin, lady. You're welcome, and sorry for the damages. I know it happens a lot, but, you know, when we can, we try to reduce the, the casualties. You know? oh, that's very kind of you, all of you. You and the four others, they're with you. Where's the speech? No, this is my coin. <laughs> <laughs> Like, we're not reducing damage. But no, the, they're they're all very um, thankful. Uh, however, the sun is starting to further go down. There's uh, actually, I think they were already lighting torches and stuff out here, wearing the lamps. And it, it's been a little bit since we played last time. I think it was already becoming evening, so it's just getting darker outside. And you do know that the lavish whip, lavish, the no. zealous, zealous whip, whip, the zealous whip is right around the corner. Down on the corner. Yeah. Out in the street. Come on, yeah. pick up the next one. So we're headed. We're headed. No, yeah. no one's going to pick up the song. Okay. No. Do, 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 because we we don't want to do copyright infringement. Right. Um, but no, we are heading to the sex. I mean, the lavish whip. No, the zealous, zealous whip. whip. The, the, He's got you messed up. The zealous, the the zealous, zealous whip. Lavish. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So lavishly zealous whip. You pick up your goods. Uh, maybe quickly sell them. Uh, on your way or just right here where you're at, <laughs> nice and convenient. Uh, take off around the corner before more guards come sniffing around around what happened, asking you questions, get caught up in all the red tape, right? So you head off, turn a corner, turn around, and there it is. The Zealous Whip. What does it look sign? like? What's the sign, the look sign like? is literally just a very flourished whip. And the whip itself spells... It's like a really elongated whip, right? But it says, the zealous whip. What does the storefront look like? Uh, The storefront is just a simple door. No windows. (laughs) That boat. I I, I, shops like that. It's all cinder block. You go inside. (laughs) One car in the parking lot. You're like, "Mm, I don't know what this building is. Is it the... uh, Okay, they're windows, but they've got... The black curtains drawn. Ooh. Is it the building on the map that's kind of funky shaped? Uh, no, it's not. It's not on the map. It's around. Uh, a little I'm, ways away. I, I mean, I'm going in. I'm beat up. How was going to look over, getting like and point over to uh, Fig over there? Like, do you think he's old enough to go in there? Uh, I don't know that they would really care. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, just worry they might break him. <laughs> He's very supple. 
I could bring gross stuff. If so, I do. so Casrus goes to the front door, mm-hmm. opens it, mm-hmm. and inside, perfect, amazingly, this better lush couches, velvet, mm-hmm. tall, just just rugs, tapestries. <clears throat> And immediately realize the tapestries all have embroidered wasps on them as you come in. And there they are. Both male, female, and everything in between. Calistrian <laughs> priests and priestesses. This is going to be a good episode. <laughs> Rogers is like, I love this place. This is be good. And, yeah. and they... Uh, they're wearing very revealing clothing, and each of them have a little whip on their belt, oh my among other Jesus things. Christ. Uh, L- little bottles of what you think might be perfume or something else. Oils. N- Naji walks up to Casper's and goes, this looks like one of your places. They walk up and says, welcome. Have a room, something to eat, and come worship with us. I didn't bring I th- three silver. <laughs> And then we will seven find silver. out oh what God. happens next That's time. But yes, silver. it costs seven silver, <laughs> Jonathan, <laughs> to, to, to worship here. Never play a cholesterol. Yes. You get gypped. Okay, so so who's going to be worshiping? Tell me. Casserus, obviously. Casserus is worshiping, okay. Vala- I, I, with Valanya? Yeah, Valanya oh, might okay. not let him. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. She, she's going to be the band today. What do they do, <laughs> what do, they, what do, they do with Valanya? Do they have like a weapons rack? <laughs> time to settle up. It's last call here at the Pickled Goblin. Thanks for listening. Join us here in two weeks when we continue our adventures. Don't forget to check out the description of this podcast for our Discord and other socials, and we'll see you soon, right here at the Pickled Goblin. (laughs) 